I hope you already have some Unreal Engine project. If you don't, some blank one based on default presets will be all you need. We will quickly set everything up in the engine and then set up your IDE in the next video. The first step we have to do is enabling some plugins. Let's go to Edit, Plugins, and for easier search, let's find Scripting tab on the left side. The most important plugins is Editor Scripting Utilities, as well as Sequencer Scripting and Python Editor Script plugin. There is also a new plugin called Python Foundation Packages, which is simply the most common Python packages that you may want to use, like NumPy or PyTorch. We can enable those and maybe, thanks to that, you will not have to add those Python modules yourself. So let's take this one as well. Now we have to restart our engine. Once the engine has restarted, we have one thing left to do in Unreal. Open Edit and go to Project Settings. We have to find Python tab. However, there is too many tabs on the left side, so let's just use the search bar. We search for Python and here there is a section called Python Developer Mode. Let's enable it. Once it's enabled, we sadly have to restart once again and this time it may take a short while. Great, engine has restarted once again and enabling developer mode turned on generating Python's tab file called unreal.py. We can find it in our project folder by entering into intermediate then Python's tab. We will use that file in the next videos to set it up in either PyCharm or Visual Studio Code. And this file will be updated on the next engine startup, whether there were some changes introduced by engine update or local changes that exposed any new C++ functionalities to the Python level.